Hello, I'm John Baker with another NX Quick Tip. Today we're going to talk about some things that we can do now with attributes and expressions uh, to make life really easier for people. So I have a simple part here. This part is designed not really for my intended use. I'm, I'm authoring this part with the idea that somebody else is going to use it. So I want to make it as simple as possible for him to use it. And this thing comes in three different sizes. So I have a, uh, this if statement here, which is a relatively complex if statement, which will get me the three sizes that I want. But all the user has to do is just simply change this first expression from uh, 1 to 3. So if he change it, let's say, to 2 and hit apply, the part gets larger. If I change it to 3 and try it again, the part gets larger again. And, but if I change it to, let's say, 4 and try it, what happens is it fails because 4 is not a legitimate number. So, um, and I put a little note here saying, you know, set it between 1 and 3, but that's really about all that I can do here. Now, it's true. I could go back to this, this complex if statement, and I could add some more logic to it. I could say if it's less than 1, make it 1. If it's greater than 3, make it 3. But that would, that would make this even more complex yet. So is there another solution that we have? And yes, there is. And that is, is that I can go in and I can take this, um, rather than using the expression, I'm going to go out and I'm going to create an attribute. And so I'm going to go create an attribute template to start with. And uh, I'm going to just give it a general category. I'm going to call the attribute size. It's an integer, which is what I want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a list. So I can say I want, number, I want it to be either a 1 or a 2 or a 3. And I can enforce that, meaning that can only be one of those three numbers. And the default is going to be 1. So now I have my attribute. If I'll now go into Properties, Attributes, and we can see that the size um, is here. I'm going to activate it. And so now the size appears here as uh, a 1. And you can see that I can pick 1, 2, or 3. Okay, now we got the attribute. Let's go into the expression system. So I'm going to take this expression right here, this one right here, and I'm going to link it to that attribute. So instead of me typing in a 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it to this size attribute. So I say OK, and that puts the attribute in there. So now, see the value is still 1, uh, because that's what I had set in my attribute. So now if I come, leave here and go back to Properties, and now go into that attribute and pick, let's say, 2 and say apply. You see now, and, and you notice I can only pick 1, 2, or 3. So I'm always going to get the right answer. And this is actually the attribute is maybe a simpler interface for somebody to understand who's not that used to using uh, NX. Now, okay, that's fine for the end user, but what about the guy who designed it? Maybe he could actually do a have an easier job because I still have this complex if statement in here. So all we have is we have something new called a list state, a list expression. So I'm going to create a new expression. I'm going to call it a list. And I'm going to start out and I'm just going to say this thing is, is my sizes. So I'm going to just call it sizes. And then you see the values up here. It, my three lengths were one inch and 1.25 inches. and 1.5 inches. So those are my three. So now I have a list of these three numbers. And what I can do here for the height, instead of having this statement here, I can actually go and edit this. I'm going to just remove this complex if statement. And what I'm going to put in here is something called an nth command. So I have the nth command. And then I'm going to use the sizes, which is what I want this to be. So the sizes is, determines the number. And then, excuse me, size determines the number. And then what I want to do is I'm going to put the sizes, which is the list expression in here. So now what I've gotten rid of is I got rid of that large complex thing. And what I have is this statement. So basically what the end statement says is this can be a 1, 2, or a 3. And the, it basically picks out from here which place it is. So let's say, okay. So now I go out here, go back to the 
uh, properties. And now when I change this and say, let's go back, let's say to one, and say apply, now it updates very simply. So it's, it's simple not only from the end user's point of view, but it was also simple in that the person who developed it did not have to resort to these long and complex if statements. In fact, you could even combine these together. I could reduce this thing down to a single expression if I wanted to by just including them all together. So there's an example of how you can use some of the new capabilities of expressions and attributes to simplify these sort of template models where you build them uh, to a certain uh, idea that, that some other person is going to be using them, not necessarily the author. And you want to make it very simple for that person. You may not be that technical or that experienced with, with NX. So this way he can build the template, build a very simple interface into it without having to do a lot of extra effort. And at the same time, leverage some of the changes that we've made in the expression system so that even his job can be simpler and so on. And of course this list could be any number of expressions. Uh, you saw there only three in this example, but what if it had been seven or eight? Think of how complex a set of uh, the if statement would have been or even a set of if statements if I would have had to have seven or eight different options. So this way the list statement is very, very simple to use and uh, is, is, is a great uh, efficiency tool for capturing this sort of information and embedding it into the logic of the model. Thank you very much.